Good morning, medical students. Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of Ondine syndrome, also known as congenital central hypoventilation syndrome, CCHS. This rare neurological disorder affects the autonomic nervous system's respiratory centers in the brainstem, resulting in a lack of automatic control of breathing during sleep. Throughout this lecture, we will explore the embryological development of the autonomic nervous system, the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory centers, as well as the genetic etiology and inheritance patterns of Ondine syndrome. Additionally, we will discuss the abnormalities in FOX2B gene expression, the physiological mechanisms underlying central hypoventilation, and the clinical presentation and diagnostic criteria for this syndrome. Furthermore, we will examine the polysomnographic evaluation, neuroimaging findings, and the correlation with symptom severity. We will touch upon the cardiac dysautonomia and associated cardiovascular manifestations and highlight the management strategies for respiratory support. Additionally, we will explore surgical interventions such as diaphragmatic pacing and its efficacy. Finally, we will assess the long-term outcomes and challenges in the management of patients with CCHS. Without further ado, let us embark on this intellectual journey into the depths of Ondine syndrome. To comprehend the origins of Ondine syndrome, we first need to understand the embryological development of the autonomic nervous system. During embryogenesis, neural crest cells migrate and differentiate into the sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglia. The sympathetic ganglia develop in a chain-like fashion alongside the vertebral column. In contrast, the parasympathetic ganglia originate from cranial nerves 3, 7, 9, and X, as well as the pelvic splanchnic nerves. The intricate interplay between various signaling molecules, such as sonic hedgehog, SH, and bone morphogenetic proteins, BMPs, orchestrates the patterning of these ganglia. Any disruptions or abnormalities during this critical developmental stage may contribute to the pathogenesis of CCHS. The respiratory centers located in the brainstem play a pivotal role in regulating breathing. The medulla oblongata, specifically the ventral respiratory group, VRG, and the dorsal respiratory group, DRG, are primarily responsible for controlling the diaphragm and other respiratory muscles. The VRG is further divided into two subgroups, the inspiratory and expiratory neurons. During inspiration, the inspiratory neurons excite the phrenic nerve, causing the contraction of the diaphragm and subsequent inhalation. Conversely, during expiration, the expiratory neurons inhibit the inspiratory neurons, leading to relaxation of the diaphragm and exhalation. This delicate balance of neuronal activity ensures the appropriate rhythmicity of breathing. Any disruptions in the anatomy or function of these respiratory centers can manifest as central hypoventilation, as seen in Ondine syndrome. Ondine syndrome is predominantly caused by mutations in the FOX2B gene, which is located on chromosome 4P12. Its inheritance follows an autosomal dominant pattern, although de novo mutations can also occur. The FOX2B gene encodes a transcription factor crucial for the development and differentiation of neurons within the autonomic nervous system, including those involved in respiratory control. Hypomorphic mutations, leading to diminished FOX2B gene expression, are associated with milder forms of CCHS. On the other hand, null mutations result in more severe forms, with a higher risk of associated cardiovascular abnormalities. The variable expressivity and penetrance of FOX2B mutations contribute to the diverse clinical presentations observed in Ondine syndrome. Abnormalities in FOX2B gene expression disrupt the normal development and maturation of respiratory centers in the brainstem. Studies have demonstrated that FOX2B interacts with other transcription factors and signaling molecules, such as retinoic acid receptor-related orphan receptor alpha, ROA, homeobox protein NKX22, and WNT signaling pathway members, to regulate neuronal differentiation and survival. Additionally, FOX2B is involved in modulating the expression of various neurotransmitters and receptors within the autonomic nervous system, further highlighting its pivotal role in respiratory control. Dysregulation of FOX2B expression due to genetic mutation ultimately leads to the impaired automatic control of breathing during sleep characteristic of Ondine syndrome. The central hypoventilation observed in Ondine syndrome can be attributed to several physiological mechanisms. Firstly, there is a defective central chemoreceptor response to elevated carbon dioxide, CO2, levels. Normally, an increase in CO2 triggers a rise in respiratory drive, prompting an individual to breathe more vigorously. However, in individuals with Ondine syndrome, this response is blunted, leading to inadequate ventilation and subsequent respiratory compromise during sleep. Additionally, impaired ventilatory responses to hypoxemia and other metabolic perturbations further contribute to the pathophysiology of central hypoventilation. 
Disruptions in the chemical and neural signaling pathways involved in respiratory regulation play a crucial role in the development of respiratory dysfunction in Ondine syndrome. The clinical presentation of Ondine syndrome can vary widely, ranging from mild to severe respiratory abnormalities. Infants with CCHS may present with hypoventilation, cyanosis, and recurrent episodes of respiratory arrest, particularly during sleep. In milder cases, symptoms may only manifest during times of increased metabolic demand or during illnesses. As the disease progresses, patients may experience chronic fatigue, impaired exercise tolerance, and secondary complications such as pulmonary hypertension. The definitive diagnosis of Ondine syndrome requires clinical suspicion, often coupled with genetic testing to detect mutations in the FOX2B gene. The presence of appropriate clinical symptoms, abnormal respiratory responses to challenges, and genetic confirmation are vital components for establishing a diagnosis. Polysomnographic evaluation, a comprehensive sleep study, is an essential tool in the evaluation and management of CCHS patients. This diagnostic test involves monitoring several physiological parameters during sleep, including electroencephalography, EEG, electromyography, EMG, electrooculography, EOG, and airflow and respiratory effort measurement. In patients with Ondine syndrome, the respiratory parameters, such as minute ventilation and the apnea hypopnea index, I, are carefully examined to identify respiratory abnormalities, including central hypoventilation and apneas. The interpretation of polysomnographic results requires expertise and knowledge in recognizing patterns of disordered breathing and associated sleep architecture disruptions. Neuroimaging studies, particularly magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, can provide valuable insights into the correlation between structural abnormalities and the severity of symptoms in patients with Ondine syndrome. MRI scans of individuals with CCHS often reveal subtle alterations in brainstem anatomy, emphasizing the involvement of respiratory centers. Additionally, the identification of associated brain abnormalities, such as Chiari malformation type I or additional CNS tumors, is crucial for comprehensive clinical management. Although neuroimaging findings may not be pathognomonic for Ondine syndrome, they contribute to the overall understanding of the disease and guide treatment decisions. While the primary hallmark of Ondine syndrome is respiratory dysfunction, cardiac dysautonomia and associated cardiovascular manifestations are commonly observed in affected individuals. Autonomic dysregulation can manifest as abnormalities in heart rate variability, impaired baroreflex sensitivity, and altered blood pressure regulation. These cardiac dysautonomic abnormalities may lead to cardiac arrhythmias, cardiac conduction defects, and sudden cardiac death. Regular cardiac monitoring, including electrocardiography, ECG, and echocardiography, is imperative in the evaluation and management of patients with Ondine syndrome to detect and address potential cardiac complications promptly. The management of respiratory support plays a central role in the care of individuals with Ondine syndrome. Various strategies aim to ensure adequate ventilation and prevent respiratory compromise, particularly during sleep. Non-invasive methods, such as continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP, and B-level positive airway pressure, BiPAP, are commonly employed to deliver pressurized air to maintain the airway patency and support respiration. In severe cases, when non-invasive measures are insufficient, invasive methods such as tracheostomy or diaphragmatic pacing may be considered. The selection of the most appropriate respiratory support modality depends on the severity of the respiratory dysfunction and the patient's clinical presentation. Diaphragmatic pacing can be a viable option for patients with CCHS who experience recurrent respiratory distress despite optimal medical management. Diaphragmatic pacing involves the surgical implantation of electrodes on the phrenic nerves and a pulse generator for neural stimulation. This technique aims to artificially induce diaphragmatic contraction and support ventilation. Although diaphragmatic pacing has shown promises in improving respiratory function and quality of life in some patients, its efficacy varies. Proper patient selection, thorough preoperative assessment, and long-term follow-up are crucial considerations in determining the potential benefits of this surgical intervention. CCHS is a lifelong condition, and management extends beyond the acute presentation. Long-term outcomes are highly variable, ranging from milder forms with near-normal life expectancy to severe cases associated with significant morbidity and mortality. Challenges in the management of patients with Ondine syndrome include the need for continuous respiratory support, potential complications related to invasive interventions, and addressing the associated comorbidities. Ongoing multidisciplinary care, with a focus on respiratory, cardiac, and neurologic aspects, is crucial to optimize the outcomes and quality of life for individuals with CCHS. In conclusion, Ondine syndrome, or congenital central hypoventilation syndrome, 
is a rare neurological disorder that affects the autonomic nervous system's respiratory centers in the brainstem. It is characterized by a lack of automatic control of breathing during sleep, leading to central hypoventilation. Understanding the embryological development of the autonomic nervous system, the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory centers, the genetic etiology and inheritance patterns, as well as the physiological mechanisms underlying central hypoventilation, is essential in comprehending the complexities of Ondine syndrome. Additionally, a thorough knowledge of the clinical presentation, diagnostic criteria, neuroimaging and polysomnographic evaluation, management strategies, and long-term outcomes is crucial for providing optimal care to individuals with this syndrome. By recognizing the intricacies of Ondine syndrome, we can develop comprehensive management plans and improve the quality of life for those affected.